Hello everyone. Today our topic is computer representation of sets. There are various ways to represent sets using a computer. One method is to store the elements of the set in an unordered fashion. If this method is used, the operations of computing the union, intersection, or difference of two sets would be time consuming because each of these operations would require a large amount of searching for elements. Another method is to store the elements of the universal set using an arbitrary ordering. Assume that the universal set U is finite and of reasonable size so that the number of elements of U is not larger than the memory size of the computer being used. Next, we specify an arbitrary ordering of the elements of U, for instance, A1, A2, etc., AN. After that, we represent a subset A of U with the bit string of length N, where the ith bit in the string is 1 if AI belongs to A and is 0 if AI does not belong to A. Suppose, for example, that the universal set U equals 1, 2 to 12, and the ordering of elements of U has the elements in an increasing order that is AI equals to I. To represent the set A, 1, 2, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 12, using the bit string, we need N bits in the bit string where N is the size or cardinality of U. So in this example, to represent any set, we need the 12 bits. So to represent A, here we have 1, 2, 1, 3 is not in A, 4 is not in A, here 1, 6 is not in A, 7 is in A, 8 is not in A, 9 is there, 10 is not there, 11, 12 are there. And to represent the set B, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, the bit string is 0, 1, 1, 1, we have in 5, 6, we have in 7, 8, 9, and these bits are zeros. And to represent the set of odd numbers, a new 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Here we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. One, zero. 10 is not odd, 11 is odd, and 12, zero. Using the bit string method, it's very easy to perform different set operations, like finding complement, union, intersection, and difference. However, it has the disadvantage of space complexity. If the universal set is large, and we have many sets, then for representing each set, we need n bits. Again, consider that we have the same U as the universal set, and the set A equals to 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, and 12. This set can be represented as follows. Here, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 8 is not there, 9 is not there, 10, 11, 12 is there. To find the complement of set A, we just have to complement each bit in the bit string. So here we'll have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is the complement of A, which is really this set 1, 2, 5, 8, 9, and 11. Another example to find the union, suppose that the set A equals 1, 5, 10, 11, which is represented in the bit string as 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And the set B equals 2, 2, 6, 8, 11, 
which is represented in the bit string as follows. Here we have zero, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The bit in the eighth position of the bit string of the union is one. If either of the bits in the eighth position in the two strings is one or both are one and is zero when both bits are zeros. This means that the bit string for the union is the bitwise or operation of the bit strings for the two sets. So by ORing the bit strings for A and B will obtain the bit string for the union operation. One or zero, one, one, zero or zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, and zero. So the union of A and B equals two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is not there, 10, 11, and the 12 is not there. And suppose that we have the two sets A equals two, one, two, four, five, ten, twelve. So in the bit string we'll have one, one, zero, one, one, zero, seven, zero, eight, nine, ten is there, zero, twelve. And the sets B equals two, three, four, five, eight, nine, and twelve which is represented as zero, zero, one, 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 here zero, seven, zero, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The set intersection can be obtained by adding the bit strengths for the two sets. Here we have zero, 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 one, one, zero, 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 zero zero and one so the intersection of the sets a and b equals two here four five and twelve the set difference between two sets s and t denoted s minus t but here the set difference or also denoted as a relative difference s t is defined as the set that consists of the elements of S, which are not elements of T. So X belongs to the set difference or the relative difference ST only and only if X is an element in S and X does not belong to T. Or it can also written as the set difference of S and T equals to X such that X belongs to S and X does not belong to T. So to find the set difference, we first have to find the complement of set T and then add it to the set S. For example, using the same universal set 1 to 12, suppose that the set A equals 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 12. The bit string representation for A is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, zero one 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 zero zero one and suppose that the set b equals two two four eight nine so the bit string representation for b is zero one zero one five six seven eight nine ten eleven and zero to find the set difference or the relative difference we have first to complement B here, which is one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, one, one. After that, the complement of B should be ended with A. One and one, one, next, one and zero, zero, next, zero, and one, zero, next, one, and zero, zero, next, one, and one, one, Next here we have zero, here one, here zero, here zero as well, here also zero, here also zero, 
and the last two bits one and one one so this is the set difference a minus b and it's equal to the elements one five seven and twelve so if you use bit string representation, it's very easy to perform set operations like complement, union, intersection, and set difference. For today, that's all. Thank you.